Hey guys, I know that there's been some discussion about using the generic CB antenna brackets for the Frontier for mounting ditch lights and stuff like that. So this is just a quick little uh, snippet about how to do that, how you know, what I did with that. And so here, this is the bracket. Of course, it's got a larger hole here than you know what'll you know for the bolt. It, it just it's going to move around a lot. So basically, you've got to you know shore this up, and this is the main problem. Otherwise, that bracket is very strong. Uh, what I've talked about is taking a washer and trimming it to fit that hole. And so effectively, that's what I've done, is I've taken a washer and then marked where that needed to be cut. And that's what I did in order to fit that hole. So that's what this is. So that's to fit that hole right there. And what that allows me to do then is to then rotate to wherever I want to position that light. And it'll keep it to the outer outside of this opening, but it makes it really you know, uh, sturdy. It really stabilizes everything. And of course, um, you know, add a couple of washers. This is a really thin washer that I had that will go up top. Of course, that what that'll do is, you know, wherever that opening is, you know, it's going to be to the outside. And then I put this one underneath, and that's just again to help make sure that it's stabilized and and solid. So yeah, it takes a couple of washers to make this work, but you know, this is not a big deal. So put the washer. Uh, underneath as well and again you can kind of see here is demonstrated by that washer being underneath how you can rotate that around and that keeps it to the outside certainly if you wanted to this is a small enough bolt to where you could drill you know right here into one of the corners and and mount that there that's perfectly fine um, you know for part of the larger lights uh, maybe if you're wanting to run the SC2s or the SS3s, you know, that may be you know, what you'll need to do. You'll need to add actually a couple of holes uh, there to do that. But that, to me, just makes this bracket even more versatile and useful uh, for, you know, what we're talking about here. But, uh, you know, I think even for uh, SS3s, this is a very stable bracket. I would, I would trust this with those. Um, and even if to add a set of the SC2s, I think that would work, uh, you know, just as well. So, so that's basically um, how I've got those set up. So there's the washer underneath. There's the washer up top. So, the, of course, those would just need to be lined up. that you can rotate where it sits and I rotate it out primarily because I don't want that hood to hit so you'll put the lock washer and nut underneath and that's how they'll sit that's all there is to it